If you just had a new elite panel roof installed and you're wondering how to get electricity through the fan beam to install your ceiling fan, then you've come to the right place because we're doing just that right now in this video. So stay tuned. So if you want to be part of the family here, click that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss another one of our videos when we upload it. Plenty of good content. We have lots of videos coming up. If you plan on putting up a fan, then you'll need to order a panel that has a fan beam in it to do so. They don't all come with the fan beam. The installer of these panels never run the electric wire for you. It's left up to the homeowner to do it or hire an electrician to have this done. Here in this case, we have a panel with the fan beam installed where the fan's going to be. And you can run your electric right through there and into the fan beam. If you wanna see them putting up the panels, you can click this link and go check out that video. Today, we're gonna to be running electrical wires through the fan beam that's built inside of the Elite panel these panels have a beam built in there so you can run right through to where you want your fan to be, whether it be in the middle of the panel or back a little bit. So you decide where that is and you'll have to mark this and make a hole. Electricity, if you know how to do it, I think this is a job that you can go ahead and tackle. Whatever you feel comfortable with, don't do anything that you don't know how to do or that you're afraid of doing. Hire an electrician to have this done. For that fan beam, it's exactly right in the middle of the panel. So that fan beam's going to go the full length of the panel. And so all we need to do is drill into the end of it here, then find out how far out from the wall back we want to go. And in this case, I believe we figured out five feet. So we're going to go from here, five feet, drill a hole, and it's going to be a one inch hole. So that way we can get our finger in there, hold the nut to screw in our fan piece. And we can run those lines, fish them out of the hole and bring them down and be able to hook up your electric. That's what we plan on doing in this video. So let's get started. We want to take a measurement on here and make sure that our measurement was right. So the panels are four feet, so two feet right here. That means right in the back of here, that should do it. This is going to be the hardest part is getting drilled into this thing. Probably going to have to go in like this. Take some of this out. Did get through there. It's a little piece there. We're just gonna knock that out, probably with a hammer. There we go. Now yep, get that out of the way. He knocked out that one little piece. So now we have a nice hole there. So that's how that's gotta be done. So for my drill bit, I'm using Biter one inch. I'm gonna run it in reverse for a minute and see before I go forward. I'm in the fan beam now. So you can see there's gonna be a little bit of styrofoam before you get into the fan beam. So that should be enough there. And I have this plate for a fan. The fan can go onto it here and then the plate will be covered. So this can be mounted on this side. The plan was, see if I can get in there, holding on to the one washer that I already have there. Okay, I think we got that. So we're locked onto the one. Let me turn my ladder around. I feel like if I was the other direction, I might be able to do this better and get the other one in there. That's gonna be the trick. And my finger barely fits in there now because of the plate trying to get my other nut on here. These are really hard to do. Everything should be lined up. If we are, then we're gonna be good. We can put the electric back through there. Yep, I think that's gonna work. All right. Okay, so we got our plate up. That's a good sign. Just use a regular screwdriver you know, and see if I can hold the plate down for getting it screwed in there. That's working. Doing a little bit on each side as I pull down to add the pressure. It's working. Now I know I have it 100% secure, way better than trying to use a couple screws and screwing it in there. 
now I know it's tightened down good on both sides. Fantastic, look at that. And we got it mounted. That is great news. Now we just need to run our wire through here. I took the wire completely off. And the reason being, because I want it to run some all new stuff here, which I did. I'll use existing. I think that's fine. I don't see an issue with it. Now we're gonna run our electric back through there and run it back through here and hook up our electric. So now we have our wire here. There we go. Okay, this one the three quarter foot. I already have this half inch, so I'm trying to use it. I'm to do the three. I'm gonna make it work for it though. Lower. Hopefully we're getting towards the end. There it is, hook it up. Okay. There we go. We got our wires going down through there. I'm gonna screw this back on there. Okay, that's nice and secure. Now what we wanna do is take our main wires here and we're gonna run those into our pipe and get that set up to go back into our fan beam here. Now we can run it through our pipe. There we go. Okay, we got it. Got it. Got it. All right, got it. Good. Here we go. Should be right there. Remember our hole here. Yep. Look, our wire's right there. This piece is piece to a bungee cord so it's pretty strong to grab around the wire and pull it down all right all right that's looking good we got it So I'm gonna pull enough through here so I can cut some of this off. Better to have extra. So what I did is I have this cap just to go in there. And now I gotta get this piece into there. So that's what I'm trying to do now is get this in there. Feed a little bit more wire in there so we can get these two up and together. go okay that's one side get the other side and the rest from here is pretty much just putting up a standard fan I mean you have your electricity now which is what we basically want it to try to accomplish here down the fan beam and the rest is just putting up your regular ceiling fan if you know how to do that then you've got this from here if you found this video helpful make sure you give it a like hey great you stuck around all right so you stuck around for the finishing touches here we're gonna see if we can uh level this off a little bit from side to side We are ready to put the fan up. The best way to put your ceiling fan up, if you didn't already know this, is to put it up already put together. Of course, this one was already together and just taken down whole because we had already had it up here with our old panels. But it is better to put these up already assembled. You slide it into the rocker arm and you're ready to go. So on one side of here we have the light, the other we have the fan. 
And we also have switches that will turn the light and the fan on. I want the Hunter logo in the front on this fan. Just looks more decorative, it looks nicer. I'm going to do our ground, I like to do that first. Go ahead and ground it, get that out of the way. It's one, but we got three more to go. Okay, let's do our neutral. We have the white together. There's two. Okay, then what are gonna have the blues. Let's do the blues, putting the blue ones together. Now we have the black ones. Okay, got that side. All right, so we got our fan installed. We have the box over here that we have to hook up all of our wires. Now I'm gonna go turn the power back on. We're gonna flip the switch here. There we go. The other one will do the light. But now we have our fan back up. I feel the nice cool air blowing on me right now on our brand new Elite panels. If you like this video, you're gonna love the next one. So go ahead and click this link on the screen now and follow to our next video.